company also cutting its full year earnings guidance. I just spoke with CEO Mary Dillon about the latest results and outlook. I asked her what happened here. We announced our first quarter earnings and lowered our guidance for sales and earnings for the year, really driven by two factors, softer customer demand than anticipated and elevated inventories. I want to reiterate, though, I am extremely confident about the lace-up plan that we unveiled to investors in March, about six months into my tenure here, and it's designed to drive long-term sustainable growth for Foot Locker. And, you know, we believe that by simplifying the business, leveraging our assets and investing in the right capabilities, we'll be able to drive that growth. We're in this great growth category, all things sneakers, and Foot Locker is at the center of sneaker culture. And I see this green shoes of the plan already starting to show up. Having said that, tougher start to the year than we anticipated. Softer customer demand as well mm -hmm. as elevated inventory. So while that is disappointing, you know, we're adjusting to that reality, but remain very engaged and energize about the future. So we'll take the short-term action that we need, but it doesn't deter us from our long-term belief and our strategies and targets. I think the market was willing to for forgive a weaker quarter, uh, as you had been talking about the softness. We saw the tax refunds come in late, but the guidance is really what, what surprised sure. everyone and, and lower margins as well. What has it surprised oh. you, the, the shift in trends? Yeah, I would say that at the end of the day, the customer, the consumer is showing some weakness. And I think we've seen this building for a while. Now, our customers come out for key shopping occasions, and we're delivering, I think, great, exciting opportunities for them on those. But we saw some softening uh, last year, but the customer really was resilient for back to school and for holiday. But as we've come into this year, I mean, if you step back, pressure on discretionary spending and household budgets is pretty intense. I mean, Inflation, while abating, is still quite high. So when you think about things you have to pay for, like rent, like gas, like food, it leaves less dollars available for discretionary. We've seen some increase, some uptick in the use of credit. And, of course, there's less COVID benefits available. So while we were hopeful that as we got further into the year and passed the lower tax refund, we'd see a tick up, really the, the demand has been sort of soft. Now, having said that, like I said, people are coming out for great shopping occasions. We just had a great Mother's Day where we elevated our entire women's business and a, and a Jordan retro uh, launch, the Four Thunder, last weekend that had a lot of excitement and demand. So really what we're doing is trying to be realistic. We think that pressure is going to continue for some time. We don't know exactly when it won't. We also need to really address the fact that our inventories are elevated. We came mm -hmm. into the year 30 percent higher, thinking with our sales plan that was manageable. But really, we need to get more aggressive. And that's and to your margin question about really providing discounts and promotions to clear that inventory so we can get in a better position for the latter part of the year. How long is that going to take? You know, I wish I had my crystal ball today, but I don't. So we're trying to make the best call that we can. We're managing expenses. We're preserving our investment into the future because we see a bright, bright future ahead. Like I said, disappointing. You know, of course, nobody wants to lower guidance, but we're trying to give the best call that we can at this time. But really, we see, like I said, in our lace-up plan, a lot of early encouragement and improvement on many of the things that we're doing to improve our store portfolio, our digital experience, our loyalty program, et cetera.